Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Alexandra and today is the first in real life makeover I have done in over three months, which is so, so exciting. Today I'm converting a tiny mudroom slash sunroom into a cozy at home library. I've never done a room like this before. I'm so excited, so let's get started. So Amira and Ben reached out to me a few months ago about their back room. It's really been a place where they've been just storing a bunch of miscellaneous things and they haven't really put much thought into decorating it. Hey Alexandra, so as you've seen from the videos I've sent you, our tiny little non-room is just becoming a storage area for bicycles and random boxes of stuff and books we don't have anywhere to fit them. And it's like becoming difficult to go from our bedroom outside because there's so much stuff in the way. <laughs> so what we'd really like is some kind of like cozy library-ish room. And now that it's like COVID times, we're working at home. So it'd be really nice to have somewhere that isn't the kitchen table to do a little work that isn't two feet away from each other. <laughs> I hope that's enough to go on. I have so many plans for this room. I want to do an accent wall, maybe a plant wall, definitely a really comfy chair, a wall full of books. We have one day to pull this off. The great thing about this space is that it's a sunroom off of a bedroom, so there's a door. So the homeowners, we're not even gonna see them today. We're not gonna be in contact with them. And because there's this beautiful backyard. There's enough space for Carla, Chico and I to socially distance while we do this makeover. I'm really excited because this is such a small room. So here's what the space looks like before. It's a complete blank canvas. Chico and I are now just moving out all of the books. We're getting ready to paint this room. So while we're doing that, I wanted to give a huge shout out to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. You guys know I've worked with them before because I really love their platform and can't wait to talk about them later on in this video. So it looks like there was a fire in here, but apparently they had baseboard heaters that Something about burning the dust. Anyways, these heaters have left this like coat of what looks like soot all over the walls. So we're just cleaning them off before we start to paint. But I've decided to paint the whole space white because it is a tiny space. I want it to feel bright. Um, but then I'm gonna do a fun graphic element on one of the walls as an accent wall. Walls are clean. I'm gonna take this light down because we're gonna be replacing it, but we're gonna start painting this white. Also look at the chaos behind the scenes. Actually, it's not too chaotic, but lots of books. Once it's painted on. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is the white, it's, you know, your average white color, but it's going to really brighten up these walls. You guys know I always say, fresh coat of white paint just does, just does wonders. Okay, let's get painting. So we're done painting this room white. What a difference. It feels brighter, it feels a bit bigger, it just feels way more fresh. Next up, Chico and I are going to change the light. It was this kind of black 
very simple light. But because this is a small space, everything in this space that I add has to be beautiful and decorative. So I got this light from Mitzi. You guys know that Mitzi is one of my new favorite lighting retailers. It has a globe style, it's gold. It's just very, very stylish. It looks so good. Wow, I'm obsessed. So the light's up and now it's time to build these four Ikea bookshelves. Well, there's only one here, but we have four. This looks fairly straightforward. There's like three steps. Actually, there's only two steps. There's two steps. I got this. Sure, Jan. So you put this in here. Wait. Oh dear. Okay, okay, okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Is this backwards? This might be backwards. Yeah, I did it backwards. <laughs> so I'm thinking that they're gonna go side by side. Something like that. And then all the books will fill them. Oh. To make sure these shelves are very fastened to the wall, Chico installed like a wooden brace and I'm just attaching the shelves to the brace. Okay, I'm ready for the next screw. Nice. So next up, I'm gonna be painting some sort of accent wall. And originally, I was just gonna do it all one solid color, but I'm actually thinking of doing this cool color blocking thing with kind of like an oval shape. And I have two paint colors that I need to choose from. So this one's called turmeric. Oh my gosh, that is so bright. <laughs> it's like mustard. I don't know about that. Okay, and then this one is called Adobe Dust. Ooh, that's nice. It is Adobe. Adobe. <laughs> Adobe Dust. I like this one. It's like an orange with a little bit of pink. It's like a salmon-y orange. I mean, we'll swatch both, but this is... It's a lot. So now it's time to do that really cool color blocked shape on this wall. So this is gonna be the accent wall. I'm hanging a piece of art on this side. And so I want the shape to kind of curve around it. So I'm using string and a pencil. Chico's gonna come and hold the string while I do the curve. And then we're gonna use a level to do two straight lines. You guys will see as we do it. So the two lines that I just drew are where our vertical lines are going to start. So you just wanna make sure you have a long level. You wanna line it up and then draw your straight line. Since the artwork I'm hanging has organic shapes, I wanted to mimic that and I don't wanna make these lines perfect, which is why I'm not using painter's tape. I want them to be, you know, a little, a little organic, a little natural, I want them to flow. Also, I've decided to go with this pink paint color because even though I was gonna swatch the yellow, I was like, the yellow's way too bright. And I think the vibe that I want in here is bright, but warm and cozy. So I think that this pink salmon -y color is perfect. So I'm just using a slightly angled brush and I'm just gonna trace over my pencil line and hope for the best. <laughs> I've seen so many people do this shape. I actually got the idea from Becky from the Sorry Girls. She just did this in her bathroom. I just love how color blocking is a thing now. It's like taking neutral paint and stepping it up a notch with these interesting shapes. I recently revamped my website uh, using Squarespace. And as someone with a small business, I was so impressed with how many things you can do on this platform. My favorite thing about being a Squarespace user is that it is a one-stop shop for everything relating to your business. So you can have a blog, you can have a store, you can send out an email campaign that notifies your customers of sales or a new post. And then you can go to the analytics and see what's performing well on your site. You always say, what's your Amazon shop? 
where can I buy your merch, where can I see your latest videos, it's all on alexandragator.com. Calm. As someone who is not super like computer savvy, I can honestly say that building a website on Squarespace is really easy. It's super customizable. Squarespace makes that happen. Another thing that I love about my website is that you can sign up for my weekly newsletter. My weekly newsletter is called The Decor Edit and it is a place where I give you inspiration, products, tips, solutions, all of the decor things in your inbox. I'm really proud of how the newsletter has kind of evolved and the place it's at right now. So definitely sign up, head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch your website, go to squarespace.com slash Alexandra Gator or use the code Alexandra Gator for 10% off your first website or domain. The wall is painted. It's a lot more orange than I thought it was gonna be but I like it. I think it's bold, I think it's different, and I really think that the artwork is gonna go great with this color. Next up, I'm gonna hang a curtain rod, and actually, this is such a great tip for anyone who has sliding doors, or I know in some condos, there's like windows like this. People ask me all the time, how do I hang a curtain rod, or how do I hang curtains? So I found a curved curtain rod that's made specifically for sliding doors like this, and I'm gonna be hanging some linen curtains just to give this room some texture. And that was one of Amira's requests. She said that this room gets really hot and sunny. I mean, it's baking in here right now. So some sort of curtain will help, especially if they're working in here. Okay, so see how it curves around the frame of the door, guys? That's what makes it so great for patio doors like this or those condo windows. And obviously the curve is important because there's no space for a curtain rod above the door. Curtains are up. I love them. They're linen, so they're supposed to be a little bit wrinkled. But yeah, they're great. They can open them if they want. They can leave them closed. <laughs> you don't say. You know, you know how curtains work. You can leave them halfway, you can leave them quarter way. And now it's time to hang the artwork right here. I'm really hoping that this art makes this color feel a little bit better because I'm still on the fence about it. So let's see. Okay guys, I'm putting the rug down. It's this kind of shag Moroccan inspired runner. And then I'm gonna bring in our big armchair. <gasps> this is so comfy. I wanna sit here all day and read a book. Do some work. <sighs> now it's time to do a plant wall. I was gonna use these for my bathroom video, but I thought they would work way better in this space. I frantically went around my house this morning cutting my plants to bring clippings over here. So the idea is that you propagate plants in these and they're just gonna float all along this wall. They come with this little hook. I'm just gonna space them out randomly. You guys, this plant is perfect for this corner. It's beautiful. Now it's time to get the books on the shelves and then I think we're I think we're done. We're ready to reveal the space to Amir and Ben. The books are up. They look so good. You guys know one of my tips is to color code your books because it just looks like your books are instantly styled. And now it's time for the finishing touches. So I'm adding this beautiful blanket from my friend Leslie at Swell Made Co. All the links to all the products will be down below, but she's a small business and I love supporting her. So I'm gonna throw that over the chair. And then I have this beautiful Moroccan style cushion as well. Okay guys, it's 
time for the reveal. This is actually gonna be a really different reveal than normal because I have to be socially distant from Amira and Ben. Carla has her mask on. She's gonna be six feet away from them. I think I'm just gonna like tuck myself in the corner and just yell at them as they're looking at this face. So if you hear my voice but don't see me, that's why. I'm feeling really nervous. I feel like because I don't know Amira super well, it's always nerve wracking when you don't know someone's style. So hopefully she likes it. It is very cozy and these books look incredible. So fingers crossed. You can walk forward, just, just look down. Looking down. <laughs> Usually I would be able to guide you, but. <laughs> I want you to picture what this space looked like before. It was crowded with books all on the floor. Your bikes were here at one point. It wasn't a very cozy space. It was more like a dumping ground. Are you guys ready? One, two, three. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> guys, uh, this is amazing. It's yeah. transformed. What the? But you can't swear on camera. <laughs> <laughs> The like, shelves are amazing. The shelves are amazing. Is this Ikea? Yeah. <laughs> you guys! Uh... It's like, you can curl up. Yeah. Ah! Here's the mess. <laughs> I really oh, love these too. Me too. They just stay alive? Yeah, so they'll hopefully propagate. And you can leave them up for for quite a while, even when they have roots. You just need to change the water every, like, I don't know, couple weeks. <gasps> you like love it? love this. I was really nervous about the color, because I was like, it's it's bold, but... I love it. Yay! It looks so good! Wow. The carpet's, like, the right size for the space. Yeah. That was something we, like, like struggled with trying nice to find. To just, like, yes, keep it. once you see them closed, it's really nice. And the, and the light. light. It was such a, like, just a walk-through room yeah. before, because yeah. it, but now it's like part of the apartment. I also love I how love it looks that. from your bedroom, too. If you, yeah. like, you can see the shelves from your bedroom, which is nice. Oh, that is so nice. Wow, it's so good. How did you do this so fast? <laughs> Yay! Yay! Thank yeah. you, you're welcome. Oh my God, <laughs> this my is pleasure. the best. It's so weird that there's no hugs. I know, it's very <laughs> weird. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you as well to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Just a reminder to head to squarespace.com to start your free trial. All the details are down below. They loved it. I feel so happy. I'm really glad that this room is now somewhere where they can hang out and read and work. Mission accomplished. We have more makeovers coming at you guys. I'm so excited that we finally get to be shooting again, even if it is a little bit different than normal. Make sure you are subscribed and I will see you guys next week. Bye!